What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me here again. Today I will be showing you another furniture flip piece. I did also buy this piece of furniture off of Facebook Marketplace, this time getting it for $20 and flipping it for about $50. Can't wait for you guys to see how it turned out, so let's go ahead and get started. So here is the original piece, guys. As you can see, it's in pretty pristine condition. Not a lot needed to be done to it. Um, I did, however, want to knock this bottom piece off down here first, and all we had to do was take a hammer to it. Since I wanted the bottom to be flush, we did have to take the jigsaw to the side pieces. Um, that's what was left over after we hammered off that piece on the front. Just want to do a little shout out right here to my boyfriend Cole for helping me so much on this project. I can't thank you enough. After Cole cut me a template piece of the slatted wood, I went ahead and used the jigsaw to continue to cut the pieces we needed for the front and the sides of this cabinet. And next was the fun part, guys. This is where I finally got to see the piece come together by wood gluing the pieces of wood that we had cut to the cabinet. Now, I have to say this would have been a lot easier if I were to have had a nail gun because I had to go back a few times and readjust the pieces and make sure they weren't sliding. As you can see, I finally decided to use uh, painter's tape to help hold the pieces down and in place so that they would stay where I wanted them to stay until they dried. So another downside to using the jigsaw to cut the slatted wood pieces was that it did fray the ends of the pieces so they weren't clean cut. So I took the piece back outside once it was dry and tried to sand down the tops and bottoms of the pieces to make them smoother. It's not totally perfect, but I definitely think it helped um, a little bit. I had to be really careful like down here on the bottom um, where it was already kind of like chipping if you can see that um for like not to angle my sander a specific way so i didn't chip even more um but other than that i think I did a fairly good job i might have to have a few spots like right here um that i'll need to fill in but it's looking better then guys all i did was put the legs on i found these on amazon i'll be sure to link them below for you Okay guys, so I ended up taking some caulking that I had from a previous project and just filling in the gaps and actually just covering up the tops of these pieces. I found that the sanding did help, but they weren't quite as smooth as I wanted them to be. So I just went and hit all the tops of these slatted pieces and I think that definitely helped a lot. All right guys, and then I primed my piece with the Bullseye 123 primer. It's the same primer I used for my dresser flip. Um, I kind of regretted doing this in the end because my paint ended up not sticking as well to the primer as I thought it would. I did sand my piece in the very, very beginning before I put the slide of pieces of wood on. I did not video this or show this in the beginning, 
but since I had already sanded it and I was using black to paint the cabinet, there really was no need to prime this cabinet. So if I were to do this again, I wouldn't use the primer, but I would buy a better type of paint. I just bought a Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black paint. It was super cheap. Next time I would definitely splurge for a chalk paint or something that's specific for cabinets. All right guys, before we see the final piece, I wanna share with you two takeaways I learned that will hopefully speed up your process in making a slatted cabinet. Number one is if you have a circle saw, be sure to use it. If you don't, maybe get your pieces cut at Home Depot or at your local hardware store, or if you have a friend, borrow theirs. This would save me so much time and honestly, so much money because my pieces would have been cut more precise and they would have been smoother on the end so I wouldn't have had to do the extra sanding or caulking that I had to. Number two is don't go cheap on your paint. Just go ahead and splurge and buy the nicer chalk or cabinet paint so that you don't have to end up doing three coats and wondering if it's going to turn out the way you want it to be. Let's go ahead and see this final product. Thanks so much guys for checking out my video today. I hope you enjoyed this furniture flip. Be sure to like and comment down below if you have any questions. If you'd like to keep up with what I'm working on, be sure to subscribe and as always, follow me on Instagram. Thanks again and I'll see you guys soon. Don't. Say hello. Wanna say hello to the camera?